What's the crack, lads? We are back and we're kicking off today with what's new on Thursday. So, I mean, a couple of people disappointed. I, I, I feel like we're going we're gonna to talk through everything and why I think a new update is not that far away. We're going to get into everything. You see there with the trailer that we're going to be getting new players. That is a guarantee. We are going to be getting new Showtime players, as you see here. And these have got another special booster, a little orange booster that you see here. There's a selection of players. We're going to go through everything. We have this, this little trailer that we're going to go through. But most of the information that we're getting is actually going to be off the official Konami website. So we're going to take a look at that and kind of that that ushers in Season 5, uh, other than the trailer, right? I'm a, you know a bit surprised that they don't have the trailer within this they don't even have the the information that is on the website in the actual game itself so maybe there's just this kind of like slow um release of information while they kind of figure out the exact details that are going to be in season five but we get a card here we're going to get it we're going to get a new card for him with galatasaray and of course we're going to get a few more of these these are going to be down as the showtime cards fairly high rating it's just as normal now, man. You know that these cards are going to be coming every kind of season. Every couple of weeks, you're going to get big special cards. I feel personally where the game is at at the moment, until they do a, like a big reset um, or, you know, starting from scratch, a lot of these cards are going to struggle to get in. No matter how good they are, they're going to struggle to get into your starting 11 because you have your favorite starting 11 that you're going to have all the time if you're playing, you know, fairly high. Now, the period for this, as you see here, is the 7th to the 14th, okay? We also have the J-League East. We also have the, those players, right? I'm not going to focus too much on the players um, in terms of this here, but we do have a couple of bits of information in including with the new pack. So I'm just going to cover everything and then we're going to go over and have a look here. So the packs here actually haven't been updated yet. So I said that the pack was going to be updated. I thought that that would bring in season five when we had the lunar pack that was going to be gone, the kit, but there is no pack in that. Also, on top of that, we also have in the shop, in the eFootball Point shop, which we covered yesterday in our video of what was going to be coming. With the players here, we don't have any additional players added to this. But you can see here that Bebeto is going to be the last legend in the shop. And Aslani is going to be gone this time next week. Bebeto is still going to be there for another month. So maybe that ties in with what we're going to be seeing with the next big update. But I reckon it could be a little bit sooner than that, depending on when they actually get it out. Because we do need to update the game to 3.4. Uh, which is the next big kind of gameplay specific update so that kind of leads us to what is actually coming in terms of the packs today what can we spin for today so we already talked about the showtime packs here they are part of a new pack that you see here for the turkish league and that is going to be the booster ones total package plus three that's going to be tied of course to the turkish league and it's similar to the japanese legends that they released as well We'll do a review on those. We'll be checking them out in the live stream later as well. We also have the J-League East and West. Those players are going to be coming in there as well. And of course, we have Foden who makes it on to the player of the week. I'll do a review on the player of the week. But spoiler alert, it's kind of a disappointing pack. Uh, I think Kavara being there and Foden being there. And then obviously you have Lukaku and Romero. Romero is obviously going to be an interesting one because of his booster, um, but at this stage in the game, as I keep saying, you're not really, Foden looks good, I mean, as a whole playing uh, player that can play across any position, he looks like a pretty decent player, but of course he's missing one or two things that will make him upper tier, and you can't train skills on these cards, so I feel like that's a slightly missed opportunity. The rest of the packs that we have here, we do have new player of the months here with the nominating contract, and we also have club icons, so these are the club icons here, there's some nice selections in this of course Marcus Lorente is a beast of a player I think he's a really good option here um for a five star and also Rodri if anyone has ever missed out on a decent Rodri card this is your time to actually go and get him now one thing I will say is Konami have gotten very clever with how they've actually started to bring out players Rodri will need blocker on that but I'll do a full video on that as well now we're actually going to go over lads to the official Konami website let me just change screens there we go and this is actually up on the official Konami website. So I hope you guys can see it here. Um, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. There we go. So it says that Season 5 is going to be dominate the game. Now this says in line with Season 5's team, dominate the game will be holding a range of events to match the ever-growing football fever around the world. The world! There will also be a brand new type of AI event in which speed and efficiency will be the key to success. Okay, so now this is where we're going, lads, with this. It says that there'll be a brand new type of uh, versus AI event. Furthermore, new items will be made available for you to further strengthen your existing dream team players as well as for future signings. 
that sounds like to me boosters that to me sounds like that there's going to be boosters in the shop that will be able to buy specific boosters or strengthen players in that way because it says to strengthen your existing team as well as for future signings again let me know in the comments below if you think that you know i, I i'm seeing too much there strengthen your players and not be, and be prepared for the season five kickoff campaign which will start as soon as the new season begins. So it says here, there's a bit of conflict in information here, right? This says, it says that season five is from the 7th to the 3rd, but the season actually hasn't started yet, uh, even though it says the 7th to the 3rd there. The start of the season is the players that we have in here. So there is a bit of confusion. I know a few people were asking me um, before. These are all the start of the season. So all this content that you see here is season five content. But the season five hasn't started proper uh, yet because we haven't got the new update and we haven't got season five unleashed in the actual game itself with new kits, new players, any of that campaign stuff. But it does say that they do plan special player lists um, and they talk about, about the season's uh, in eFootball, that just says about the seasons coming. They say that it'll be in, you know, regular regular uh, additional stuff. But they talk about special player lists. So it says, in addition to current footballing stars, which will be introduced as big time players, we are also going to be introducing, um, or in conjunction with eFootball Championship 2024. So that is going to be the, sp the teams again. So you're talking United, Arsenal, we'll get into that in a second. It says, Batistuta, Scholes and Van der Vaart and other players with brilliant accolades both on the international stage and in the domestic, domestic league will also make their presence felt in-game. On the other hand, club icons, we already saw those, Rodri, they'll be the nominating contracts. Updated match pass, of course, as well. If we go out to the match pass, now what's interesting I will say about the match pass is, if you look here... A lot of stuff has um, been updated, such as the objectives. So you do have these season five objective kickoffs here. There, That is ending in 14 days. So these objectives are ending in 14 days. Does that date kind of tie in with when we could get the next big update? There's 14 days left in that, which is two weeks. And also with the match pass, this match pass is going to the 11 to the 4. So they seem to be mix. They seem now what they seem to be doing. They seem to be mixing up or kind of like putting it in the blender and putting things out in a different fashion so they seem to be launching the season and then kind of like launching the season proper so it's like 50 percent of the season preloaded and then they add the other 50 percent and then that's it for the month and then they recycle that they do a new season so these this is the season pass here you've got Luis alberto and moreno as the players but it's pretty much the same thing uh you play 15 matches you get your five star nominating contract so yeah that day to me there with the objectives seems to signal in that we could be getting that big update after 14 days or 13 days 17 hours and then also on top of that we do have this season 5 kickoff graphic that they have released on the official website as well so the special login bonus the campaign objectives the tour events and the teamed events so it says here season 5 starting campaign now watch this again this is again what i'm trying to trying to look at trying to be you know uh like get into this kind of like detective type of mode and look at it right Earn a maximum of 1 million GP, 50 eFootball coins, and skill trainers. And it says that the special login bonus campaign will run from the 7th to the 14th, and then the 14th to the 21st. The 21st is two weeks from now, and that ties into the objectives as well. And it says that these are going to refresh every week. So today we're going to get 30,000 login bonuses. They also talk about introducing special objectives, and they're the objectives that we just looked at. They're special teamed events. That's going to be starting on today as well by completing challenges while playing teamed events and all that. So if we go back here, and I'm kind of like going from pillar to post with this, if we go back into the match here and we look for matches, you can actually see with the sticker here that Season 5 has actually kicked off, but it seems that there's still more to be announced and more to be released with Season 5. Maybe they're staggering it to give them a chance to put the content in first, get the cards in first, and then drop the gameplay stuff, then drop the big heavy hitting stuff, because they do talk about a new AI event. So that's going to be interesting. It seems to be kind of a new AI event maybe where... It could be as something as similar as like kind of like, uh, you know, winning games in a row, as many games as you possibly can. But they do have all of this stuff here, the season five kickoff campaign in there. And they also have the season five kickoff campaign there. So you can see the European clubs one has gone there. The tour event one for against the AI is still ongoing for the season five. So that is the special event there. So lads, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think, right? Obviously, if you press start here, there is no information in here about what we just have on the actual website. So
so there is no information about the season five there or anything like that that kickoff campaign is on the official eFootball website the konami website the rest of the stuff is as normal we've got the co-op back obviously but the contract situation is still the same and we're also not getting we haven't got an updated daily game so people were saying like oh maybe they'll switch things up maybe they'll add r9 or zidane into these <laughs> Ah, oh, man, I can't take that seriously, man, when I see people uh, clickbait. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, this is still ongoing, this lap. So you will still have the laps here that you'll be able to do. And this hasn't been updated yet. So it's still finishing at 19 laps. So, lads, that is it for me. I will be live streaming later. We're going to take a look at the Player of the Weeks as well. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything, keep it locked to the channel. Don't forget to check in on the live stream later. We'll be streaming in a couple of hours. Not that long to wait. And we'll be having a full day of it and testing things. But it doesn't look... It honestly, to me, does not look like we will have any changes to the gameplay today. I think everything is going to pretty much stay the same. And obviously, that includes the player reset progression. So, the player re reset progression at the moment... Um, that was a big kind of like a uh, big thing where people were like resetting all their players. We did a full stream yesterday where we were setting the players and I'm glad I did because even though this, the gameplay probably hasn't changed too much, um, the player reset progression is gone. There's no longer free. So it's 600,000 now to, to get most players reset. So I have all my players here done that we'll have to retrain them again. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it shakes out over the day and I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.